What's up everybody? Wanted to give you a quick update on the PlayStation 5 so far. The memory that I have that I've used. So this is what we're looking at here. This is what you're going to be looking at with your 667 gigabytes of usable storage. So we got our console storage, games and apps, items you can move, nothing. Because it's all PS5 related, so I can't move anything to my SSD. Alright, so that's confirmed. Items I can delete, so here we go. Fortnite, 23 gigs. Spider-Man Remastered, 53. Astro, I'm saying it like they can't read. You see what you're dealing with here. Call of Duty, 145 gigabytes. That is insane. Insane. Um, Valhalla 44, Borderlands 3, 50. And that leaves me with 118 gigabytes left. So, I mean, that's a decent amount of storage. Look, I'm, I was one of the guys slamming it, but it's like there's no other PS5 games out right now that I'm even interested in, and I still have 118 gigabytes left. My extended storage, all PS4 games. All 60 FPS, items I can move, is everything. Anything that's on PS4, you can put on your PS5. Um, yeah, everything here, man. Every, everything there is 60 FPS. Now, um, Rich made a video last, last night. It says, safely removed from PS5. I didn't do that. I, I took out my external drive. And, uh, because I wanted to hook my PlayStation 5 up to the uh, monitor, to the 1080p monitor. I wanted to see the super sampling. And let me tell you, the super sampling on a 1080p monitor is phenomenal. So I put the PlayStation back and I saw Rich's video and I was like, you know what? I'm going to put the extended storage back in anyways, even though I didn't properly eject it. And I'll show you the results to that at the end of this video. Um... One more thing I wanted to show you is when you download a game, if you buy a game from the PlayStation Store, I'll tell you what, let's do this. You go to the PlayStation Store, go to PS5 games at the bottom when you buy something. Okay, if it's a cross-gen game, because you're going to get the PS4 version too. When you buy it and you go to the store, do not download anything. Don't download it, just hit continue Get out of the store. Get out of where you purchased it. Okay, and once you do that, once you do that, go to your um, go to your game library over here. Go to game library. Go to your collection. Hit platform PS5, and that's where your games will be at for your PS5. And then install the game. Just click on it and install it. That way, there's no mishap. Because for some reason, PS5 likes to download the PS4 version of the game first. Makes no sense, but that's what it does. So that's how I avoid doing that. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I also wanted to show you my error history in a week's time. There you have it. Signed out of PlayStation Network. That's because my internet went out. And something went wrong with this game, Rap Demon Souls. I've had one game crash in a week's time, and I run this thing all day long. And Demon Souls didn't even crash. Well, I mean, it crashed, but it's not like PlayStation 4 where your game freezes and you can't get out. you got to restart the PlayStation, or like the Xbox when it, when it freezes. No, it's simply like the game was running, and then boom, it popped right into this menu. So let's say this is Demon Souls. Boom, it popped right there. I was like, what the hell? So I clicked this, and instead of giving me the option to shut down, it just said that right there, check for update. It just literally turned off. I restarted it, boom. No other problems since. So you said, I've had one game crash. From everything I'm seeing, everything's linked to rest mode, I'm telling you. Anyways, that's all I got for you. I'm going to give you a full review on Monday. i got to go to work. Um, here's, here's the uh, video. For the external drive, I'm sorry for the lighting, um, but if you if you took out your external drive and you're worried about plugging it back in after Rich's video because you didn't properly 
disconnect it from the settings first, you'll be fine as long as you turn your console off. Don't do anything in rest mode. Anyways, that's all I got for you. I'll holler at you. Later. All right, Rich. Let's slow your little video. I just unplugged my external tube to hook it up to my monitor. And now, I'm going to do what you said not to do. And I'm going to plug it into the back. Only mine's not in rest. It's off. I believe it'll work just fine. That's right. So we're going to squeeze back here. Got the SSD unplugged. We are going to plug it in to the PS5. Good grief, this is a tight squeeze. I know. You know what? So you guys are hoping. You guys are hoping that my PlayStation dies. And that's a damn shame. Um, there it is. Oh wow, I can't see nothing. Hold on one second. Set it right here. Boom. You know what? I don't even know which HDMI port I put it in. It's that dark. Okay. Alright. Plug back in. Oh please, please let it be broken. He just told he literally told you not to do it. You gotta have faith, man. See, there she is. I believe it's going to work just fine. I guess you're supposed to disconnect these in the settings. I didn't even know that. I looked at a video after looking at Rich's video, and sure enough, you're supposed to disconnect them. Lighting in here is terrible. I apologize. Plugged in your PS5. It's not saying nothing about the external drive. Let's see what's happening here. Extended storage, games and apps. Hey, looky there. Oh my shit. Don't sweat it, everybody. It's fine. <laughs>